live from downtown Scranton, a real happening place, if you happen not to live here, it's a wonderful edition of Frank Lunatic Rants. That's right, people. We are ranting and roving again. What do I got to rant about today? Well, first of all, as everybody knows, I'm just never happy with everything, anything. So we got to rant like crazy about stuff. Because after all, that's what makes life fun. What fun would life be if everything was perfect? But anyhow, what I've got to rant about today is a couple of things. Well, parking. People who can't park worth the crap. Seriously. Love that. Was down at uh, Geisinger CMC today. And uh, I'm in the parking lot. First of all, it's amazing how many people cannot pull their car in these parking garages into the parking lines properly. I don't understand. Like, everybody is just... Okay. Then you get the people. I love this jam bag. See this guy walking over towards the elevators. And by the elevators are, of course, handicapped spots. And here comes a non-English speaking yam bag, and I'll explain that in a second, who pulls into the space by the elevators because it's, a, it's open. Well, it's a handicapped space. The man does not have a handicap placard on. He doesn't have handicap plates on, nor does he look handicapped. He does, however, have some form of a handicap because the person does not understand or speak English. Because somebody was trying to scold him about parking there, and he's looking at this person, and he has no idea what this person's saying, and he basically, in Spanish, tells him he doesn't understand English. It's like yam bags. Then you have the yam bag, unfortunately, I don't have the split view on, who's over here by the Mulberry Street Bridge, who stopped their car literally just about up into the intersection when the light turned red, that people are trying to get around this yam bag. Once again, showing how people cannot park in the area. But it isn't always just here. I, I, I will say stuff about my area too. You go up to Walmart in Honesdale, People create their own parking spaces past the curbs into the street areas before you get into the sidewalk for Walmart. Primarily, there are people with New York plates on. What a friggin' surprise! And they just park their car wherever and create their own parking spaces for some reason because apparently they're privileged because they're from New York and they don't want to park their BMW SUV near some peon Chevy Cavalier. Or people who just can't judge the lines anywhere. You know, these people. I see, I can understand when the light changes suddenly, but people who literally either stop 80 feet before the stop line, which really sucks when it's a sensor light because it doesn't realize a car is there and it takes longer for the light to change green, or they go past the lines. What's up with that, you yam bags? Learn to friggin' drive already. Seriously, it's like a never-ending challenging battle watching people drive in Northeast PA. But of course, it does come down to one thing when it's somebody with a PA plate on and they're from the area. Because more than likely, they got their license during the time frame when you did not take an actual road test out on the road. Everything was on a closed course with codes. And that was supposed to test and show your ability to drive around other vehicles. This explains, of course, why people, a lot of people in Pennsylvania, especially if you're like over the age of, say, maybe 35 or something, are not able to drive. And even the people under, because even though they take you out on the road, that's basically you could do a left turn or right turn and that's about it. Everything else is still, parallel parking is still in a closed course. Which explains why when you go to downtown Scranton, there are tons and tons of, a plethora of people who cannot parallel park 
that as soon as they have the self-parking ability available on everyday cars, most people in the Scranton area will probably run out and buy one because it's needed so badly. But anyway, in conclusion, all I have to say about this is, yeah, bags, learn to park, learn to drive, learn to speak English. Learn a lot of things. And please, learn them quickly, because the rest of us in humanity can't take your crap anymore. And now that I'm on the Scranton Expressway, maybe I should just pull a Scranton move and decide to park my car right here. Right there. Not even on the side of the road, but partially on the side of the road. And then we'll see what happens. And my friends, is all I have to say about that.